The passage this morning, which I'm reading, is 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 3 to 6 in the New English Translation. For this is God's will that you become holy, that you keep away from sexual immorality, that each of you know how to possess his own body in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion like the Gentiles who do not know God. In this matter, no one should violate the rights of his brother or take advantage of him, because the Lord is the avenger in all these cases, as we also told you earlier and warned you solemnly. God has created each of us with a wonderful, powerful body capable of two possible sexualities. Each of us has a preference to choose our own sexuality. We can choose to allow our bodies to control us, becoming slaves to whatever lustful passions uh, emerge from our depraved minds. If we make that choice, then we're choosing to act like the Gentiles who have no knowledge of God, where we are practicing practical atheism, dishonoring God, as, is his pref as if his preference doesn't matter. Pornography or other forms of entertainment which encourage lustful passions only feed this practical atheism. Also, it leads to a second sin of transgression because our lusts will lead us to violate the bodies of other men and women, taking advantage of either their weakness or their mutual willingness of their depraved minds. Thirdly, the choice to follow our lustful passions makes God our judge. He is obligated to avenge our transgressions. He does not want to do that, but he must because he is a just and a fair God. He has to punish those who cross the line. As I said, God has created each of us with a wonderful, powerful body capable of two sexual uh, sexualities, two possible sexualities. Each of us has a preference to choose our own sexuality. We can make the right choice. We can choose God's sexual preference, which is consecration. And that consecration means remaining single if possible but if that cannot if you can't remain single then a husband and a wife must practice their sexuality within the confines of their marriage that is the only choice that honors God and God and avoids transgression and prevents punishment so Lord we consecrate ourselves our bodies today to your preference in Jesus name amen Thank you.